Hi, we're finally getting around to answering some of the questions you guys have asked me, mostly involving my move to Florida. So let's talk about a few of the questions, the most prevalent questions that you guys have been asking me, and let's talk about it. So what am I liking about Florida? What am I not liking? All of that stuff, stick with me. So in a video, um, I believe it was my January favorites, I asked people to ask a question to me and I'll try to answer them. And I have pages and pages double sided of questions that people have been asking and I'm getting to them as quickly as I possibly can. I know it's not quick enough, but here we go. I highlighted the ones that were about my move to Florida and I thought that's what I would talk about first. Um, so many people are very, very interested in the move and all of that. Many of the questions were very similar, but I kind of tried to narrow it down to the most prevalent questions, the ones that most people ask the most often. So in no particular order, we're just gonna kind of go through here. Um, I love the very first one. Thank you, Elizabeth. You said, welcome to Florida. Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I'm out here on the patio and I hope and there are people walking dogs and you know, all that. So um, I'm using my microphone today. I hope it works out for this. Um, Okay, so I'm just kind of going down the line. Let's just start with, we moved to Florida for my husband's job. He was offered a job that he was very interested in. It seemed like something that was a challenge, but kind of interesting and sort of fun. And when he told me about it, I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, you okay with moving? I'm like, absolutely. Before even knowing where it was, I'm like, you got it. I always told him that I would move wherever he needed to go so he could do whatever his career, you know, wherever it took him. And I was fine with that. And we've been in the Midwest forever. It could have been anywhere because he had been working in Michigan. He'd been working in Wisconsin. He'd been working all over the place for different companies and kind of commuting home sometimes on weekends. So it was quite a normal thing for him to kind of be all over the place while we stayed in that one spot. But I always knew I'd move no matter where it was, other side of the world, whatever. And I said, great, yes, absolutely. If you want this job, let's do it, let's go. Where is it? And he said, Orlando. And I'll be honest, my first impression and thought was, oh, okay, all right. It just did not seem to be, it did not impress me at all at first. Um, I've been to Orlando before and I have been here on vacation. Uh, I've been to Disney World, I think, two or three times before. Um, and that was my only reason for being in Orlando, to be honest, was just the three times we went to Disney um, throughout the years spread out. I've been to other places in Florida, all over the place, here and there for different things. But Orlando, to me, was flying into the airport, driving to Walt Disney World, staying in a resort, doing, the, doing that, and flying home. I didn't really see much, of else, ex much else except for what I saw between the, the airport <laughs> in Disney World, which is normal if that's what, you know, eh. and I never really thought about Central Florida as being the place for me. I, you know, I, unfortunately, I'll be honest, I was thinking more like just hot, muggy, humid strip malls, you know, t-shirt shops. That's kind of what I was thinking, even though I knew it really wasn't fair because, I mean, that's the only thing you see between one place and the next, really, but um, that was my honest opinion was like, Okay, I know there must be nice places. I know that I've heard that Winter Park is a very, very nice upscale place and Windermere is a very, very nice place too. Um, I know that there are many famous people who've lived in these, this area around Orlando. So there must be something here <laughs> and people love it for things besides Disney. I just had to figure out what those things were. So we moved. Hubby started working, um, his name is Jim. Jim started working here uh, in July, actually. So he, we were still at home in Illinois um, and he was basically going back and forth. He would, he would be there for about two weeks or a week or so and then he would come home for a little bit and then he'd go back again and he'd travel back and forth on weekends. And that's kind of how the whole thing started. So he's already been working for about eight months at this job. He's really enjoying it. It's been interesting and a challenge, like I said, and it's just right in his wheelhouse of what he does. So with a different type of product, which is really kind of interesting and fun for him, which is good. As long as he's happy with what he's doing, I can make the rest work just fine. So that's why we came. It was for my husband's work. We had no intention otherwise of moving to Florida. Okay, so I came here with a little bit of a preconceived idea of what I thought, um, but not massively. I was 
very much open to finding the best spot. I'm a true believer in bloom where you are planted and find the good stuff, find the neat things. And I was very excited about it. Yes, leaving our home was difficult in that I loved that house. I still love that house and I will always love that house. I love that area. I love the town. It was St. Charles, Illinois. If you ever have a chance to live or be around St. Charles, Illinois, I suggest you do so. It is just this little slice of heaven, close enough to Chicago, close enough to an international airport. Um, it, it's, it's kind of perfect. It's really perfect. So I love St. Charles and always will. However, we were already kind of looking into where to retire in, you know, sometime soon and kind of we were already had one step out mentally, knowing that we were not going to stay there for retirement, which will be like, I don't know, seven years from now, I guess, um, or sooner, uh, depending on how things go. But so we mentally were already kind of like, we're leaving this place. Where are we going to go? We just didn't know when. So when the Florida thing came up, here you go. All right, this is your chance. Let's go. All right, fine. So we got everything going. And in case you didn't know, the past two years has been massively chaotic. If you haven't watched my channel, um, I lost both my parents within one year's time, less than a year's time. Um, my father, gosh, October, November, December, January, February, he's only been gone. I lost him only like four and a half months ago. Um, buried both my parents three months ago. Um, it has been a huge undertaking and a huge shift of my world completely rocked so then to totally move out of our house and move to a place that I didn't know much about beyond Mickey Mouse um, it's been a lot but I was up for the challenge um, I can't say that it hasn't been really rough emotionally mentally and whatever because it should, certainly has and then I was in the emergency room when we were packing up you know and the movers were coming to pack our house so it's been something let me tell you but I'm discovering so much about Florida, this area, Central Florida, that I had no idea about, that I'm pleasantly happy about. Very excited to talk to you about it too. So let's get some questions out and then maybe we can touch on those subjects. First off, thank you, Elizabeth, for welcoming me to Florida. Um, the, one of the first questions, I just kind of highlighted ones that were similar to others. Um, how will Gracie like Florida? <laughs> Gracie is my grand dog. She lives with my daughter in North Carolina and she visits us every chance she gets. She has not been down here yet to Florida. She's coming next week. So excited with my daughter. Um, so they'll be here for a visit next week. So we'll see how Gracie likes Florida. However, I'm going to be the crazy dog grandma and I've drilled the rules into my family's head like you wouldn't believe. You know, they say do not like walk, especially a small, cute little fluffy snack looking dog anywhere near bodies of water because there could always be an alligator in them. We have a body of water, <laughs> quite large one. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Right there. It's a big long, you know, so yeah, her daily walks will, will be in alligator world. So, <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm going to be a little neurotic at first. I really am, but especially about bodies of water that seem like they could be more you know, natural and more things happening there alligator wise. So I don't know how she'll like it. This time of year, I think she'll love it because it's kind of this perpetual Midwest spring right now where it's just gorgeous and so forth. But the summertime, you know, I hear when June to October is a lot hotter, a lot more humid and a lot stuffier. So I think that'll be hard for her. We'll keep her hair, you know, her fur a little, shorter, I guess, and just try not to overheat the little girl because she's a perfect little monkey and I just want her to be happy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, is Florida going to be your long-term home? And how long do you anticipate living in Florida? Do you see yourself returning to the Midwest? Okay, Florida is not meant to be our long-term home, no. We are here for this job opportunity, this challenge for him. Um, we could be here three years, we could be here seven years. Um, probably not longer than that unless we absolutely you know, find a, the perfect home and um, fall absolutely in love with everything and don't want to move out. But I cannot really imagine that right now. But then again, I couldn't imagine moving here in the first place. So <laughs> that's kind of where we are with that one. Um, but no, it's not intended to be our, it's, it's intended to be a fairly short term thing. So while we're searching for a home that we love, um, we're not thinking of it as forever or as our retirement home. 
so there's that. Um, have both your daughters been to Florida yet? Well, like I said, Claire and Gracie are coming um, next week. And my other daughter moved here with us. She's changing her life. She you know, stopped her job there, is working on figuring out things here. But um, currently she's still with us and uh, finding out her, finding places to live is not easy. So she's reconnecting her life down here with us. Um, there wasn't much family left in Illinois. And um, even though she left some very good friends, and so forth um, she really wanted to be with family and I can understand that so no she's here with us and her name's Callie or Callan um, and Claire who lives in North Carolina will be here next week to visit and she may or may not come here sometime I'm not sure so there's that uh, are you going to miss your beautiful home or are you just excited to find a beautiful home in Florida and make it your own well yes I'm going to miss my home in Illinois um, as you know, I absolutely adored it. I love so many things about it. However, again, I'm excited to try something new. I've been a Midwest girl my entire life. Um, short stint, I lived in North Carolina for a very short period of time. But in general, I've lived in the Midwest my whole life. And I love it. I love it there. Everyone is so nice. Um, you can find some beautiful, beautiful places and areas with lots of nature and so forth. I love the Midwest. I love it. I love the change of seasons. I am a complete and total autumn girl and I love snow. I love the snowfall. Um, I'm finished with it in about a month and a half and it can go away, but it doesn't. <laughs> but I will miss the snow completely, but I know that I can travel to go see it whenever I need to, which is good. How are you adjusting to the warmer Florida climate? Well, like I said, luckily it's kind of this perpetual spring here. It's like 72 and cool with a beautiful cool breeze in the mornings and I sit outside on this. It's a, it's a very long, um, beautiful patio. This is temporary housing right now. We're in a, a furnished apartment in a beautiful complex. Have no complaints. It's a three bedroom apartment and there are three of us in here and we're used to having like a 7,000 square foot house. So it's different and most of our stuff is in storage and we only brought certain clothes and certain things just because we knew we'd have limited space. But it's nice and we're all, it's, we're making it all work beautifully. I'm very happy. There has been very little problem with the space or what we can have that we need and that kind of thing, which has been wonderful. But um, we're adjusting. We're adjusting to the warmer climate right now perfectly because it's fabulous. Basically every day here, this time of year, is like that one week we get in the spring in the Midwest. We get one week it seems but when the snow melts and all of a sudden it's in the 70s, it might move up to 80 in the afternoon and there's a cool breeze and it's bright, bright blue skies and sunny. And we have that for maybe four or five days, six days, seven if we're lucky. And then it gets hot, humid and summer just hits. It's like we have this very short period of time. But this is like months of it, which is fabulous, which is now I, I totally see why people from the north come down here for this time of year and then go back up. <laughs> but yes, I'm... We've had some super hot days. We've had some pretty chilly days. Um, so I still get, I can still wear a sweater occasionally. You know, it's no problem. Um, but there are some really hot, high 80s kind of days, even this time of year. So I'm sure we're in for it this summer. But I'm, again, working on blooming where I'm planted. And I'm going to try to become a tropical plant and thrive in the humidity and just live with it. Like we say in the wintertime in the north or, you know, Midwest or whatever, there's no bad weather, there's just bad clothing. So wear the proper things, stay out of the sun, have a fan, a ceiling fan over you if you can, that kind of thing, drink a lot of water, we'll make it work the best we can. But this time, uh, let's see, about six months or so from now, we'll check back in about that weather question, okay? <laughs> but for now, I'm determined to make it work and to just do what you do, you know? It's not gonna be the same and that's okay. All right. What has been your biggest surprise about Florida so far that you weren't expecting? Okay, about Florida, I'm not so sure, but about this area, I was very surprised and pleasantly so that there's a huge Brazilian population here. I had no idea. I really did not know that, but there's a very large Brazilian population here. Everywhere we go, um, we hear Portuguese, which is interesting. Um, I know some Spanish, but I do not know much of any Portuguese, just a few words, but, um, Basically, I 
am surprised. I had no idea. Um, even when you call Walt Disney World, they say the instructions in English first, and then they say it in Portuguese, and then they say it in Spanish. So I thought that was very, very interesting. I had no, no idea. So that was something that I thought was very interesting. Um, my other biggest surprise about Central Florida was all the nature. There are so many nature preserves, so many places to walk, so many gorgeous, gorgeous things to see. Um, we were seeing manatees. Uh, this is an area where there's a springs in the area where you can go see the manatees. That's where they go when this type of weather and um, rest. And so we got to see that, which is absolutely wonderful, just beautiful. We've taken walks almost every weekend in gorgeous natural places. And there are so many, and so many we haven't seen before, didn't, and we still haven't seen a lot. So I didn't know that there was so much um, of that here. I, I just assumed it was kind of more built up everywhere and I know it's building up fast. And Florida natives are kind of angry about how fast it's building and how many people are coming in and the traffic is getting heavier and all that kind of thing. Um, the traffic is normal for me because this is what it was like kind of, you know, to and from the Chicago area. Uh, so it's, it's not a big deal for me, but I'm sure that if you are a Florida native to this area, you are not happy about that, um, the influx and so forth, because people are moving here in droves, which is a problem when trying to find a house. That's another thing, but that's a video for another day. We're gonna go see two houses in a couple hours too, by the way, so I'm excited about that. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, I have a question about a, a person who moved from Alaska to Florida, and it took her several years not to resent the constant summer, but then she moved back to Alaska and it's eternal winter, so she's just trying to be content. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna try to do. Um, it'll be different. I love fall, I love winter. I hope I don't get crabby, but we'll see how it all goes. Um, are you looking for a similar home in Florida as you were in before or downsizing? We're strange. When our kids left for college, or were in college, we moved to a bigger home. That's not exactly what anything, you know, people normally do, but that's what we did, and we we're so glad we did because there was space for them to be there. People can come and go. We like having people over. And all of our relatives, many of our friends have to come from out of state um, or even over, you know, from a different country. So when they come, I want them to be able to stay and be, you know, happy and so forth. So we like a bigger spot. Plus I like to have my own office. My husband wants his own office slash TV room kind of a thing. Um, so he can kind of go off and watch his loud movie and not disturb the rest of us. Uh, plus, you know, rooms for when Callie comes to visit, when Claire comes to visit, we have an extra guest room also, so we really like the space. So we're, we're thinking we could downsize a little because our house was enormous um, in Illinois, but it had a basement, a full basement, and we don't have basements here. So that's a big difference when it comes to storage and so forth, but we need that space to store things. Where are we gonna put the 15 foot Christmas tree, you know? <laughs> stupid things like that. But we are so far looking in the like 5,000, 6,000 square foot range right now. Uh, some into the fours, seeing, we're looking for around five bedrooms in an office and maybe a bonus room. So I think we're sticking with similar size is what we're kind of looking for. Um, so that's, that's the plan. We'll downsize maybe when we retire. <laughs> um, to what area in Florida are you looking for a home? We are, like I said, we're in the Orlando area, um, and we have been looking more on the western side of Orlando. That's where most things have been building up, um, kind of north of Disney and Universal, but that type of area. So Winter, uh, Windermere, Winter Garden, um, Dr. Phillips, you know, even possibly into the Claremont, Montverde area, maybe, but that's pretty far out. So um, that's kind of where we're focusing our, our attention. And we have also been looking in Winter Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful area. Found a great restaurant there I already love. Um, but yeah, I think that that's kind of more over there and we kind of want to be more over here if it's a simpler drive. And there's no flight path from the Orlando airport, which we don't want the airport airplanes going over us again like we did last time, if we can avoid it. So that's the area. Right now I'm in Windermere and it's gorgeous here, just gorgeous, just driving around go into the grocery store, just the palm trees and the parking lots. And you just, it's almost like being on Disney property and that everything is so well kept and so forth. It's gorgeous, I love it here. Um, so kind of focusing on Windermere, I believe. Uh, did you get an annual Disney World Pass? Yes, <laughs> we did. Uh, the three of us, my daughter and my husband and I, we all got um, our, our annual passes. 
uh, for being a resident. So that's exciting. And the best part about it is, is we can literally see the fireworks from Magic Kingdom right outside our patio while we're here in this uh, temporary apartment, which is really fun. 8.15 every single night, we hear the first boom and you can go out there and see them, it's really nice. Um, but we did get annual passes and my daughter has been able to go with me, so she's my partner in crime. We have been going like once a week for just a couple hours. It's the nicest thing in the world. It's so different than when you are traveling here and you have a set day that you're gonna see this park that day and you gotta get it all done and you gotta to try to get in the long lines and try to do the genie pass. And the, I mean, it's, it's almost like it's an education just learning how to get on the rides faster. I mean, you have to really study how, the way things work with the lightning lanes and the genie pass and all this stuff. But when you can just pop, excuse me, but when you can just pop over to the park, um, for an hour or two. My daughter and I have noticed that four hours is usually our mark. You know, once the four hour time's over, it's like, okay, let's just go home, we're fine now, you know? Um, so it's been really nice. It's, it's a leisurely way to enjoy it. And then like last night, um, I finally got reservations, which is difficult. Finally got reservations for Yak and Yeti, the restaurant in um, Animal Kingdom in the Asia area. And we went um, last night for dinner. Husband came home from work and it was a seven o'clock dinner and we all just kind of moseyed our way over there, walked through the park. By the time we got there, it was getting a little dark, around 6.30 and it's just, everyone's leaving the park. The park's open until eight and this was like 6.30 that we got there. Just moseying through and the lights are coming on and went to dinner and then walked around a little bit more and then um, my daughter and husband rode Expedition Everest. So they rode a roller coaster ride. They just walked right on on our way to the car and just drove home, stopped for a moment, looked at the fireworks and came home. And just to be able to do that is astounding. I mean, if, you know, if we're definitely using that, those passes as fabulous chance to go to the restaurants that you can't normally even get into when you have that one day of vacation. Um, trying out all the different things. Go there, ride two rides, come back. You know, use it as a big walk. We've been getting a lot of our steps in too by going in the evenings. So that's been great. I've loved every second of it. Oh God, there's a beautiful cool breeze right now. Love it. Okay. So yes, we got Disney World passes and we've been using them and we've been very excited and happy about that. Dawn, I think you asked this question. No question, but I go to Disney about once a month. Hope to see you there one day. Welcome to Florida. Thank you, Dawn. I hope to see you too. Like I say, I'm in one park or the other about every week. <laughs> so let me know the next time you're there and you know, maybe we'll meet up. Uh, what have you discovered about yourself through this move to Florida? Well, that's a good question. What I have discovered about myself in the last year because of the we basically found out or knew that we were taking this job and moving last June. Didn't move till January, but a lot has happened. You know, with my parents, my dad passing away, you know, all those things within that time of knowing we were moving. My dad knew we were gonna move. You know, he passed away in October. We knew we were moving in June. Um, husband started the job in July, that kind of thing. So it's, you know, uh, it's been a lot, not just the move, but what I've learned about myself is I don't know if I learned it so much as it re reminded me and it showed me that it's true because I've always felt like I was very resilient. I was very bloomer or planted. I was very, I've always tried to be very, make it work, look for the good stuff, find the best parts, focus on those. Um, the more you focus on the good stuff, the more good stuff you see. It's just, it's just nature, you know, it's how that works. And I've been adventurous enough that I don't really want to stay in one place my whole life. Um, there are advantages to that, I'm sure, especially if you have a lot of family in that area. However, the world is huge. The world is amazing. Um, if you don't read the news, because <laughs> it's, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are bad things you need to know about them. However, in general, people are fantastic everywhere. There are beautiful spaces and places in every part of the world. and. I'm up to trying to, I would love to see all of them. I'd like to have four more lifetimes, you know, attached to this one where I can just live everywhere in the world for at least a short period of time to experience it. So I'm that kind of person, but because everything hit me such bing, bang, boom, lost my mom, you know, lost my dad, then the burials and the this and the moving and the sick and the, you know, it's just been a lot. And there have been times I just thought I, I want to just, just go to the airport, find a flight and leave, you know, and just sit on a beach and stare at it for 
two weeks without talking to anyone just to try to process everything that has happened. And I still feel like I'd kind of like to do that, but it's been narrowed more down to one week <laughs> instead of two. Um, I'm feeling more calm and content about it, but I realize I am resilient. I am strong and I am a positive thinker. And that's not something that's necessarily natural to be. It's something you have to work on and I have, and I think I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there and I'm proud of how much I have accomplished and how I have been able to mentally compartmentalize things. So <clears throat> hopefully that's true and I won't have a nervous breakdown any minute. There have been times it's been close. Um, do you dread hot weather in Florida? Yes and no, I don't wanna give up this beautiful type of season in this weather that we're having right now. However, um, I know it's coming. I've lived through, I mean, seriously, in the Chicago area in the summer, you get high 90s into the 100s with 80% humidity. It's, I've lived through that my whole life, you know, for many, many summers. So it's not as consistent and not as long, but I know how to function and I'm hoping that I will adjust. So there's that. Um, and is your move to Florida permanent? No, it's not. Unless we decide that we love it and we want to stay here for, for the end, till the end, right? But not the plan is no. It's fairly temporary. Um, so yeah, that's basically, those are basically the questions that were asked the most. Um, just various things of those same types. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna show some pictures of the things that we've been doing and enjoying since we've gotten here. But most of our time has been spent trying to look at all the different areas, you know, research where we want to live. Do we know which town to even focus on um, when it comes to trying to find a house, which that's been taking a lot of time, but it's been fun. Uh, so that's been, that's been great. And um, just every chance my husband gets a chance to be home on the weekend, we always try to take a big walk on some, at some sort of a, a nature place, which is good. And then we'll check out a town or have lunch in a different town that we haven't seen before, that kind of thing. Uh, looking around at houses, constantly doing the house hunt that kind of thing so it's just we've been very busy it's been a good busy but it's uh and then trying to find doctors you know what i mean like i need to like, get my a dentist you know and all that kind of stuff that's been keeping a lot of our time my daughter is going to be in a wedding in new zealand so i've been working on finding her dress getting that altered all kinds of things there so just a lot it's been a lot and it's been fun but um yeah it's been all good so thank you i'll put some stuff in here some things that you can see about the area and what we've been doing and I will talk to you guys real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.